secant of x over 2 is a composite function, so to find its derivative, we need to use the chain rule, which I've written here for your reference. The derivative of f of g is f prime of g times g prime. In this case, f, the outside function, is secant, and g, the inside function, is x over 2. So, applying the chain rule, to take the derivative of secant of x over 2, we first take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside unchanged. The derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x, but remember, we need to leave the inside unchanged, so we're going to have secant of x over 2 times tangent of x over 2. Then the last thing is to multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is x over 2, or 1 half x, and the derivative of 1 half x is just 1 half. So we multiply by 1 half, and that gives us our final answer. We would probably prefer to bring the 1 half to the front and call it 1 half secant x over 2 tangent x over 2. That's the derivative of secant of x over 2.